All right, YouTube, finally, here is the day, the reveal video for the CR125. Um, as you can see, it's not finished yet. In this video, we're gonna finally finish it up, get it done, and uh, at the end of the video, you'll see the full reveal, fully done, and uh, it's been a few months working at this thing, so finally got the, uh, the new gasket in that fit, finally. Only took like three weeks. Get the tire on the wheel, get that all mounted, and I'll uh, tidy this thing up. Let's cut right into time lapse and stuff and getting this thing done. Justin's already over here lubing up the cylinder. Don't be frugal with it, lube her up.
look at that. We're actually using the Honda oil in a Honda, not a Cowie. Okay, so the time is here. Finally, bike is done. It's fully built behind me. I already filmed everything. This is the transition before I play the edit, revealing this thing fully done. So I guess roll the edit. You guys can check this thing out. have the bike done as you just saw from that edit um, if you guys want to see more on this before I talk about it make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the first ride video on this thing but yeah just a little run over on everything that I did to it giving you a rundown if you haven't seen all the build series videos you can uh, watch every single video to where I got to this point um, it's a whole playlist on the channel but I'll start down low we got the tusk um, basic wheels obviously red hub um, coming up to all the parts got vapor honed uh, thanks to Josh. That's how all the parts look literally brand new. All the cases, swing arm, every single aluminum piece looks brand new. And then to hold it all together, spec bolt helped me out and supported all the works edition bolts as you can see right here on the entire bike. Obviously we have the Poly Sport restyle kit. Uh, we have the Mika Metal Bars, Outlaw Racing Clutch and Perch. Um, everything that I'm talking about is linked down below in the description if you say you happen to want it for your CR125 or any bike that you're building. Um, Outlaw Racing on the shifter. A couple of the big things in here is Lectron. This thing you literally do not have to do anything. Um, I'm going to play the, the clips of me starting it up after me going over the whole bike. But I literally ha didn't do anything. Maybe adjusted the idle and uh, the thing is good to go. So if you want Electron, no, you don't have to worry about jetting. You don't have to worry about anything. It auto adjusts itself to any elevation. So you literally, like I said, have to do nothing but bolt this thing on and start your bike up and maybe adjust the idle. Most people don't even have to do that. So I'll leave Lectron in the description if you wanna check them out. I'll go into more detail on the first ride, um, talking about the Lectron. Um, Fathead Racing supplied the head, um, a little blinged head on here. Other than that, there's not really a bunch of blinged parts. I was going for kind of like an OEM look, as you can tell by the graphics. I didn't really want it like too fancy. Um, yeah, I did kind of stray away and have the little red accents, but I don't think anybody's gonna complain about that. So I'm um, coming around to this side. Um, pro circuit pipe, pro circuit shorty, and uh, yeah, other than that, there's nothing else really done to it. Bike came out super clean. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, stay tuned for the first ride video. But I guess we'll cut into right now the first startup. It wasn't much. Um, I'm filming this after I started it up because I couldn't help myself. I still need some fine tuning. I would be lying if I said uh, the bike was fully complete, fully built the way it's going to be. Um, I had to wrap some parts off the KX125 because I must have thrown out the throttle body. So I robbed the throttle body off the KX. That's why it's electrical taped right here. So uh, just to start it up, that's why when I started up, um, I actually took it apart and just pulled the throttle, just pulling the cable because this has too much tension on it. It's too tight. So um, for the reveal video's sake, I didn't want to delay it due to the throttle. So um, that's why that's on there. Why when I first started it up, it was almost like it was full throttle. I had to hold the kill switch on there. First ride video, thing's gonna be good to go. Parts have already been on order. They should be in later this week. Along with the silencer, um, didn't come in. So I robbed it off the KX. Also, it's not, I mean, it's in here pretty secure, but it's not bolted in. So that's off the KX too. So it's probably gonna sound a little bit different. But um, as you guys saw, it ran fine. You know, we should be ready to go besides the pipe and the throttle for the first ride video. So bleed the brakes yet because uh, I'm on a time crunch trying to get this video out for you guys. You know, that was going to take way too long and cut into the reveal video filming time. So other than that, the bike is complete. Yeah, really couldn't get any better. This thing is so sick. Long overdue. It should have been done a long time ago. So let me know what you want to see with it. I'm probably going to film the KX versus CR video. Compare both the 125s see what I like better, how it handles. This thing sits a lot taller um, than the KX does. I don't know, I still have to adjust the sag, but I don't know how I feel about the seat cover. I don't know, I think it's like almost a too bright of red. I'll see another Honda in person and compare the stock seat cover red to this red. 
Let me know what you think. I don't know if I want to switch it out. I was going to try and buy the OEM Honda 250 seat cover, or I was going to try and make some vinyl, um, like heat, not heat press, just to make some Honda logos to put on the side of the seat. Regardless, it looks good. I'm just being picky. Give you another close up look on everything. Everything is brand new. Every single bearing, every seal, every nut and bolt is practically brand new on this thing besides like maybe a few of the linkage stuff and the shock stuff which you don't see but other than that everything's brand new but yeah this bike was roached when i got it and uh definitely huge transformation to how it looks now most important part bringing the whole bike together thank you to new england graphics for uh, making the custom cr125 graphics and uh, on a short notice to get thank you to him if you want to get some custom graphics for yourself his information will be in the description so to cap this off thank you to everybody who supported the build and uh on to the next i guess let me know what bike you want to see me build next and i'll take it into consideration and we'll we'll see what we come up with so i know a lot of people said they want to see a, a 252 stroke i'm trying to do all the 125s first i will get to them i can't build 10 bikes at one time you saw how long it took me to build this one so thank you to mike for being the, the pit guy today, pushing the bike around oh, for the, the pictures slam. and video. <laughs> it rolls smooth. Well, brakes, it's not that hard. Aren't even rubbing. Well, we'll get in a little uh, no, we don't care. a rolling shot. Not a riding shot, a, a pushing rolling shot. <laughs> That's the best that we're gonna get for this video. <laughs> Side note, because I know people will freak out. We did a couple heat cycles before we revved it. Don't worry, I just didn't film it. Here is the first start on this thing. Hopefully it runs. We will see, at least it looks trick, right? At least it looks cool, even if it doesn't run and decides to uh, grenade. So here goes nothing, we'll kick it over and see if it fires up. Turn the uh, gas on, we'll get the, the first view of gas going in this Electron. Look at that. Here goes nothing. This thing's tall too, it's so tall, I'm like tippy toeing on it. This seat, like I can't even move, it's so grippy. And I don't even really like the... Hope everything's okay. Get her prepped, warmed up. Well, she wasn't a first kicker. All right, well, I forgot the choke is on. And it's gonna be like wide open throttle. 